Welcome, guys. When our farm's here, FS22. I'll be honest, I tried doing this whole startup, like the starting screen, and show you guys all the maps and everything, but I might have to do it in a separate video because it crashed the game doing the recording and loading this game up at the same time. So I'll have to do that separately, like kind of show you the main menu, and then I'll show you all the other stuff in the other game too. But here's here's one of the maps. I wanted to play this map. It's called Hot Baron. It's the French map. There's a American map, there's a French map, and there's a German map, Erlengrot, and then Elm Creek, and then there's Hot Baron, which is what we're on right now. So, new farmer mode. Got our starting tractors here. Massey and a Voltrea, and then this little berry. I don't know how to say that. But it's like our small, big, and medium, and we got this truck. First things first, settings. Because there's some things I want to take off. So we will do traffic on, that's fine. We'll do, I don't know if we'll do seasonal growth. Uh, if you, One thing for sure, you remember me doing seasons in FS2019. FS22, it's built into the game. So if I actually turn this on, I can go up here and there's like a the same thing as last year, just a little different orders of things. It's okay, but uh, just for this series, I'm not going to do it. You could do how many days per month, usually one day is okay. Uh, you could do a fixed visual month, which like if I wanted to keep it all trees and leaves and beautiful weather, I can keep it to June, but if I want snow, all the time I could put it January and bad trees so crop destruction uh, nah. periodic plowing I will turn that on for now I'll explain why field stones mm, I'm required weeds on I want to do that I'm required I'll do that field stones field stones is a new one when you cultivate or uh, Subsoil, it brings up stones and that could ruin your. Uh, man, I can't talk. It could ruin your uh, machines quicker. It doesn't do anything bad to your uh, yield, but it can. You'll have to repair your machines more. It, I've had it on and I haven't collected them off and I've. And then it doesn't damage them that much. So I'll keep it on. Maybe I'll do some things. This is annoying as heck. I'll turn that off. Uh, I could turn this on, but it's kind of annoying sometimes. It actually allows you to only fill your trailers to the max weight that the vehicle can carry. So kind of like your gross vehicle weight. That's kind of a real life thing. Fuel usage. Get rid of more real. This stuff. If you're going to play, turn that off. That will just... Drain your bank account. Manual attaching, I'll keep that on. Anything else should be all perfect after that. Oh, I could do gear shifting mode, automatic or manual. Any other clutch. But I'll just do automatic. You kind of can do kind of a manual with some of them, but some of them are just almost automatic. I don't want a quick game, duh. Okay, so what do we have here? We have wheat. So we'll just start this baby up. Come up to this thing. Look it all up. Every bing bada boom. Whee. All right. Unfold the damn thing. We will disable straw for this first run here. We'll uh, turn this guy on and get him going with that do the helper still work okay what i should really be doing is selling useless stuff so this is the this is the this is a shop guys okay i'll get to these two later um there's all this stuff a lot of different stuff now mulching big bags okay now you can see we have grapes and olives in this game so cool, we have an olive and grape 
harvesters and orchard sprayers and mulchers and trailers and pruners. So cool. I tried it out. It is really cool. A little bit of annoying. We have this. Oh, look at that. It's on sale right now. <laughs> I knew we were talking about it. Um, This is like a used vehicle sale. So like they are damaged. Like this one has 20 months of work on it. This one has 15 months. This one has 28 months. So you, when you buy these, you would have to like repair it. But they're cheaper. They're like 67% off. Like this would be, what, do the math. It'd be like 10 something, 20 something grand. This is our sh vehicle shop. Or this is where our owned vehicles are. This is where our selling begins. I'm going to sell that. Don't need a trailer. Do not need the weights. They do help a little on like the uphills, downhills, but why though? Like why would you even try? Okay, so this one has 190, this one has 170, so I'll keep these. Thinking of getting rid of this guy. I mean, it's 135. I could do it just for, use it just for the trailer. That'll do it. Technically, we do not need a truck. Not at this time. Uh, the truck would only be useful for not really anything. Uh, I would have to use tractors for everything. Because uh, there's no really trailers that hook up to the trucks other than semis. So I would have to get a semi trailer and a dolly to hook up to this thing. So it's useless in a way, other than to. Bring back some pallets, maybe, but there's not much room. I, I'm gonna sell it. We can always buy it back way later on. This is a personal preference, and I've also played this map before. This is not enough capacity. So I'm gonna sell that too, and I'm gonna get a different trailer later on. What we should really be concentrating on is construction mode. Oh, there's so much. There's sheds. There out of the wazoo like there's the normal ones we only had and then there's all of these look some of these sheds are massive look, look at the size of that thing that's a shed that's not even there's some sheds that come with workshops that's really cool there's silos which really cool is there's silos that require like you get a real life like a an auger to get up there we have a base game one that's fine with me we have extensions for those Containers, we got gas containers, fertilizer, liquids, seeds, a water tank, we got tools, we got electric stations for our electric tractors, we got way stations, we got this little vehicle workshop, which I'll totally get. We have the base game workshop, which is ginormous. We got a weather station, we got a pressure washer, then we have our farmhouse. And then we have productions, factories, we can make bread, we can make flour, we can make fabric, we can make clothing, we can make grape juice, we can make furniture, we can make cheese, chocolates, and fabric again, and bread and cake and eggs and strawberries, we have greenhouses, we have orchards, we have our generators, like our windmills, animals you guys know, but there's bees now really cool they increase yield for some crops fences on fences on fences on fences on fences lights decoration landscaping trees painting plants it was really cool all right back to what i was going to do though don't need that that's for like silage we don't have any things we won't need that i don't think yeah and we'll keep that to put our stuff in. Definitely keep that. We'll definitely obviously keep our silo. Um, but now we just have that much more money in the bank. We can do other things now. Uh, first thing I want to do is do that uh, workstation here. I want to put that down somewhere. I'm going to easily access it and not hit it. Thinking right here. I'll put it right here. Right there. So then we can just drive up to here and repair and do whatever we want. Uh, another thing I used to recommend greenhouses. Always do greenhouses. Greenhouses are amazing. 
They make you so much money in the long run, and all they need is water. That's all they need. Water. You just give them water, they're good. They're golden. So I'm going to put that one right there, I think. Yeah, that's a good place. All right, well, how far have you gotten? You've gotten decently far. All right, well, other than that, maybe you need to get difference. Yeah, we'll sell our current cultivator because it only requires 90 horse. We can get something way bigger. All right, here comes the cool parts. All right, we'll get. We need a cultivator. This one's decent. 180. We have a big enough tractor for it. It's decent. It's amazing. Pricey for the start of the game, but I totally recommend it. It's easy to use. Next, we need to know, for importance reasons, is what do our fields require? Yeah, that's what I thought. They all need plowing, and they all need <laughs> lime. Uh, okay, we might, well, we'll lease the plow, because uh, plowing in this game is not like every once in a while anymore. It is solely, uh, only after certain crops. But if it's on, and we have it done, it'll decrease our yield, so we might as well get rid of it uh, we're still at it. And don't mind the whole red map thing, it's uh, a little different. I would, I'd agree, it's a little different. Alright, we will lease the subsoiler. Lease it. 500 bucks a day. We'll get that done as soon as possible then. We will... Advisor spreader. This guy is amazing. I like it. But it would be wasting a lot of money if we bought this and this because this can't do lime. This can do lime and fertilizer. So we either do this for, for both fertilizer and everything or save a little money and we do this guys for the sake of just doing uh, liquid fertilizer and herbicide because we have weeds on. I think we'll do that. I think we'll do this guy. This guy is way too much. You do a tank onto it too. Wait, so 34, 3900. 3900 plus 45 is 8, 80 grand. This is only 6. I'm an idiot. Just do this. It's so much cheaper. <laughs> I don't think we'll do any extension. This is how much expensive. I don't know if I want to do that. I'll just do this. Because we'll need it for most of the gameplay. As it comes up and already. Here's another interesting thing. There's big bags. Which is pretty much the same as a pallet. But I think they're cheaper. Yeah, they're a little bit cheaper. So we need solid furt. Three bags is usually enough to fill up that thing, and we need, well, we have 9,000 capacity, so we need four of these. All right, well, we're getting a little less on the money now, which is fine. We're going to make money back. We have no loan. That's the good part. We're not going to lose money. Okay, here comes the cool part. I am going to line this guy up. I'll show you guys the really cool part about this game. And I think it's probably going to be the last thing we're going to do. I'm going to send these, an army to the, the shop. And we were wondering, well, what do you mean by an army? I'll show you why what I mean by an army. Active workers. The Massey Ferguson. Create job. Go to the shop. I'll put you right there. That direct, no, oh, that, not sure. Start job. I'm not touching anything. I'm not touching, look. He's going to drive to the shop. 
Bye. Okay, well, I need to get the other tractor there too. Oh, there's a cedar here. There he goes. Race him. I'm gonna race him. <laughs> Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Come on, faster, faster. Gear up, gear up. <laughs> see, this one's a manual. So if you see in the bottom uh, right corner where my speed speedometer is, there's these like the two, three, four. I can technically go down a gear, go up a gear. So keeping it automatic is not that bad. So I, could, I just keep it in automatic. Driving. I don't know what that tractor does. All right, well. We're almost there. Oh, he's gonna beat us. But ha! He has to turn around and face the certain direction that I told him to. Sucker! Sucker! I beat him. Better. This tractor has the most horsepower, so it'll take the cultivator. Uh, manual hookup. I gotta go out. Alright. Get back up. And you fold. All right. Holding, yeah. Come over here. Get over here. Boom. All right. More importantly, we need the subsoilers. So we'll grab the subsoiler and we'll come back for those other things later on. Oh, damn. Okay. I need a trailer. Oh, damn. I need a trailer. I should have just kept that trailer that I had. I need to buy a trailer. Uh, which one was the one I was gonna do? Not that one. This guy. Yeah, yeah, pricey, pricey, whatever. Uh, I gotta get that guy over there now. <laughs> Doing too much things set too too uh early, but uh, that makes it interesting. The rush to get the crops off. The rush, man. Did I get that one? Yeah, I did. Alright. You go over there now. I'll hop into you. Tell you. Oh, I don't want to do that. Tell you. Go get a job. No, not field work. Go to. All right there, face that way. All right. Gotta get back. We'll definitely be in this time. We're a head start. This one's also a manual. You can see in the bottom right corner. I think only one of our. I think all of our tractors in this. Starting game is uh, a manual. In the other map, there's a tractor, uh, Elm Creek. You start off with tractors that have manual, and then there's one that's like manual and auto, and then there's one that's just auto. Or it's called uh, BVT or something like that. Uh, more like a fluid thing. So it's got gears, but then it like chooses which gear is good for or which RPM, so it's good for field work. Okay, get this guy over there for this harvester before he gets full. Soon. Oh, get over there. And these tractors are slower in this game. I think ba most base tractors are like 50, or not 50, but like they're mostly like 23. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought he was going to stop. Come on. Come on. Come to the trailer. Just empty you out. It should be about 8,000 liters, and then we'll just let him keep going. Could finish this field pretty quick. But yeah, I'll end the video obviously right here. But uh, after I'm done getting the five, at least 8,000. Or at least to the end, I guess. I'll just do it to the end. Because why as well. 
Because he'll stop at the end. And empty completely. Like that. And then I'll get out of his way. I know I blocked you. Shush. Alright. Well. What an interesting start. Just a little bit more of a cram of things. And trying to explain all these cool things in this game. But I'll, I'll do a separate video. I'll do a separate video of more of a... Kind of a tutorial style like I started doing with FS20 or FS19 there. But, uh, oh jeez, a little heavy. This is the why I wanted this trailer. It's a single frame. Oh, I dislike those trailers that are like the swivel front. Man, oh man, they're good for putting in the back. Like, I think this trailer has a back hitch. Yeah, you can see right behind the grain falling there, there's a back hitch. So I can connect up another trailer, and those uh, swivel trailers are really good for that, but they're terrible for front, I would assume. Um, let me park you right here. All right. And then our greenhouse will set up later. And then, yeah, I think that's the end of the episode. I have no idea what I'm going to call this yet, but I'll maybe just first gameplay FS22 instead. I'll uh, make a new playlist and everything like that, and then they're up. There is word that a No Man's Land conversion is happening sooner or later here. The guy's working on it that made the first No Man's Land in FS19. So I'll definitely do a, like a survival series on that. But uh, so far, it's just these guys and... Maybe I'll go into my other world there and show you guys more of the productions because it'll it takes a while to get to that production point. It, I mean, I have 12 hours in that game, but that's because I cheated a little just to see how it worked, right? But uh, I will leave you guys here. Thank you so much. I hope to see you guys later. Bye.